Hey guys, how's it going? Today is an extremely exciting day because I finally have the brand new Traxxas TRX4M right here, ready to unbox and take it for a drive. Today is a rainy day, so we're going to unbox this thing and take it right outside for a muddy crawl session. So if you're ready for that, stay tuned and let's get right into this unboxing video. So guys, let's first take a look at the box. Um, so we can see up here, this is basically just showing everything that's inside of the truck. Um, and then on the side, 118 scale. Of course, I got the blue Bronco, um, which you can see right here, the blue Bronco. Um, and I have not watched any videos or anything like that of unboxing this truck, so I have no idea what it's going to look like when we open this thing up. But let's break the seal. Oh, yeah factory seal broken let's get right into it all right let's open her up oh man so this truck is compared to this box very small i saw it in person at the hobby shop whoa whoa that's so cool that's a lot of styrofoam wow look at that that is so cool. Okay, so first things first, we have the instruction manual um, and some tools. So we're gonna open that up in just a second, but let's take this out one bit at a time. So here is the 7,500, or sorry, 750 milliamp two cell lipo pack right in this little box. We're gonna open that in a second. And here is the USB charger for that lipo. Uh, so it plugs right into the USB and that end plugs into the charger. All right, let's get this truck out. And there it is, the TRX4M. So I'm going to do a size comparison with this and all my other trucks uh, in a little while. So stay tuned for that to see the true scale. But let's take off this plastic wrap on this little truck. All right, let's get this wrap off. First things first, unclip it. And there it is, the inside of the TRX4M. So right here, we have the ECM 2.5. That is both the receiver and the electronic speed control. Up front right here, we have the servo. And right there in the middle, we have the motor. And then right here is where the battery will sit. And it will just clip in with this little rubber piece right here. That's pretty cool. The wheels, nice little rubber wheels. Uh, it doesn't feel like they have any foam in them, but I don't think that's a problem for a crawler. Um, you can see the suspension right here. Uh, it does have oil-filled shocks, and I believe that they are locked differentials. Uh, Four-wheel drive, of course, on this truck. Let's look at the body now, get it out of the wrapping. Wow, shiny, shiny body. This is an officially licensed uh, 2021, I believe it is, Ford Bronco body, and it is very pretty really good looking truck right there and it actually has some lights right there as you can see there's a light right there and right in there um no rear lights though uh but it's got a nice little license plate right there which is pretty cool okay and then we have the controller which is the same size and uh same thing as every other Traxxas controller. It doesn't have the Bluetooth module, of course, but other than that, it is the same as every other controller, uh, even though this is a small truck. So yeah, pretty cool, guys. Now let's uh, do a quick size comparison. Actually, before we get to that, we're just gonna take this battery out right here, unbox this little thing. Of course, you get the uh, LiPo warnings. You know, this, you got to be careful with the LiPo batteries, even though Traxxas does do them very safe. Man, that is a really small little battery right there. Um, but as you can see, we put it in to the truck. And it is a perfect fit right in there. Nice. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to get this charging right now so that we can take the truck out in the mud and see what it will do. And there it is. There's the TRX4M. Um, it is a really small truck. 
small, small truck, but it is really cool. And I think, like I said in my thoughts about the TRX4M video, that this is going to be one of Traxxas's most popular trucks simply because of the price point. The price point, you cannot be $150 for this truck. I just went and bought it today. Uh, but yeah, so let's get to the size comparison. All right, guys, so first I'm going to compare it to the most popular RC car in the world, the Traxxas Slash. And as you can see, the Slash is much bigger. If we move this controller out of the way, yeah, the Slash dwarfs it. And the Slash is a 10th scale, typical short course truck. And you can see that the Slash, I mean, it is just huge compared to this TRX4M. And then one more size comparison. Get the Slash out of the way. And we'll bring in the Haas. You know, a monster truck. And you can see, again, the Haas is much bigger. For some reason, it's squatting back here. Maybe something's broken. I got to check that out. But yeah, as you can see, the Haas is much, much bigger than the TRX4M. Man, this thing crawls really well. Stuck in the mud. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that short little crawling session. Uh, this thing crawls great. It drives great. I also, I got tons of battery life out of this little battery, and it also didn't take very long to charge. So that's uh, notable. But yeah, stay tuned for more videos on the TRX4M. Of course, this was just a short one. Um, but yeah, and please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, and I would really appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.